Hello and welcome to Dan Has United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm going to give you all the latest news concerning Manchester United today as the main focus of, of today's news in general is Eric Ten Hag and his future at the club. In terms of rebuilding Manchester United, we can't start rebuilding the club without knowing who's our manager um, for next season. And we have had defense news from different sources um, coming out today concerning Ten Hag's future at the club. So I'm going to run down all those sources and then... Um, we'll talk about everything. But starting with Fabrizio Romano, earlier today he said the United board are set to review this week to decide on Eric Ten Hag's future. Contact with representatives of other managers already took place in order to be ready. It's up to the directors and Ineos now. In each, in, uh, internal talks starts today, crucial days ahead and uh, crucial, crucial days and hours ahead. This was from Fabrizio Romano. And then from the Daily Mail, it said United are set to part ways with Eric Ten Hag following an end of season review from the Daily Mail. Then from the Manchester Evening News, it says United are considering keeping Eric Ten Hag as their manager for next season. Club officials have notified representatives of potential replacements that they have not discounted the possibility of keeping Eric Ten Hag. And then from Sky Sports, it says Eric Ten Hag will only be replaced if United believes there's a better option out there. The final decision on his future is being made in the review the club are carrying out right now. Ten Hag is waiting for the outcome. He is convinced he's the best man for the job. From all these sources and all these news we have gotten, it just says, or it just means that Eric Ten Hag's job is 50-50. There's a 50% chance Eric Ten Hag is going to stay. There's a 50% chance Eric Ten Hag is going to go. But leave, in the, leave your comments in the comment section and tell me, which would you choose? I know from my research and from my surveys online, the majority of the fan base want Eric Ten Hag to stay. But with the Ineos group listening to the fan base, the Glazers listening to the fan base when they signed uh, Eric Ten Hag two years ago, but with, the, but with the Ineos group now listening to the fan base when we are saying, keep this man, he, he has done very well in two years, given, up, uh, given us a cup in two cups in two years, He's, he's on a project, it's a three year project for him. He has done well for that in the second season. Give him a proper structure, give him good players, and let's see what he can do in his third season. Will they listen to this, or will they be so stubborn as to want their own man and someone they can control, someone they can put in there and just tell whatever they want him to do, and he does it? Will they listen to the fans? Leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, one of the one, someone who was heavily linked to us to be our new manager, Pirian McKenna, um, the Ipswich Town manager. It was reported earlier that um, he's expected to sign a new long-term contract with Ipswich Town. Um, um, it says, um, but Fabrizio Manu said, Pirian McKenna is set to reject approaches from Brighton and stay at Ipswich Town. He's ready to sign a new long-term deal at the club and end speculation of his exit. So that's, that he was, the, he was one of the Heavy links we have had to replace Ten Hag, but now it looks like he's going to stay at Ipswich Town. Meaning, who do we have left? We have Roberto De Zabi, we have um, Thomas Tuchel, and we have Mauricio Pochettino. Vote in the comment section, Ten Hag versus Roberto De Zabi, Thomas Tuchel, and Mauricio Pochettino. Who would you pick among those four managers? For me, I will choose Eric Ten Hag. I don't want a new project. I'm very, very happy with this project. We have never had, we have now won two cups in two years since Eric Ten Hag, since um, Alex Salas Ferguson retired under the same manager. Mourinho won two cups in his first season, in his second season, nothing, and towards his third season, got sacked. So what is the likelihood that we are going to get anything special from these other three managers? Rob De Zabi, having done two, having done beautiful, I haven't done anything as Brighton, Brighton have a structure. When Potter was sold, he came in, he did very well in his first season. In his second season, absolute nonsense. Thomas Tuchel cannot win, couldn't win the Bundesliga in two seasons with Bayern Munich. Mauricio Pochettino, Pochettino went to Chelsea, I've been to PSG, and I haven't done anything so special. For me, Eric Ten Hag is the perfect man for this job. Yeah, to train the youth, upgrade, uh, to promote the youth, play the youth in his team, um, sign exciting players, very soon, we're going to see what his tactics is going to be when we have, when we have fit players. He's a man that is very disciplined and has been able to make tough decisions at the club. But of course, he's not perfect. He has made some mistakes, but 
he has not made any mistake that is good enough for us to say we don't want a Dag at the club anymore. Dag has been very decent for us. So I don't see any reason why you want to not keep this man. The majority of the fan base want him to stay. So with the Ineos group decides to go against the majority of the fans and sack this manager just because they want someone who they can control, someone who is a puppet, someone who is a yes man, someone who they can do any anything to, someone who they can give any player they want, and the, play, the manager would basically not be able to say anything in the public because he's still young and, or because he's inexperienced or because that is the way they want it. Is that what? Is that how we're going to be? Is that we are going to, how we're going to achieve shocks, uh, success? Pep Guardiola, Jürgen Klopp, Carlo Ancelotti, that win trophies. Is that how they are run? Are they run by people up, up in the club who tell them what to do? No. That does not, it doesn't work that way. We need a manager who have a mind of his own, who is confident in his, in his, in his decisions and who know what he wants. Cause that is the only way we can achieve success at this club. But, like I said, it is 50-50 for the future of Eric Ten Hag. It is 50-50 and there's absolutely nothing we can do about that. Other than any chance we get online, we make our voice, our voice heard. You retweet rec- 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 any, any of the, um, posts from fans who are chanting Ten Hag in, Ten Hag in, Ten Hag in. Because right here, right now, that is the only place I am at. Ten Hag in. There is no way I would want Ten Hag to be sacked. It is, I, I like, I don't want a repeat of everything. This project is going on very well. Why would we want to restart a new project? There's nothing wrong with this project. Why restart it? Let's stick with this manager. But it's, t- it's down to the Ineos group to listen to us. But most times, you know, these people are ego- egotistical. They might feel they, they feel they know everything. Meanwhile, many of them do not even know what has, what has been happening at the club for the past 10 years. If Sergio Natalie truly is a fan of United, a long, Life fan of the club should know what has been happening at the club for the past 10 years, 13 years since Silas Ferguson retired. Know how shit we have been and the problems of this club and how the Glazers have run this club to the ground. But if he goes there and makes some stupid decisions, it goes to show that he does not relate to us. He doesn't know anything about the club. And if they sack their hand, they'll be getting the majority of the fan base against them. And fine, if they appoint someone and it works out fine, then they will gain the trust. But if they appoint a new person and it doesn't work out, then it just makes the whole situation worse for them. But let's see what they do. Leave a comment in the comment section and tell me your thoughts about all that's coming out about Eric Ten Hag and how he has been massively disrespected and how he still won a cup and still saying he doesn't know what his future is. But he also said, if you don't want me, I will go and win something elsewhere.